All right, I had to make a few decisions here. Um, I did the sage leaves, and I did not keep these great big leaves because as I was picking them off, I noticed that these big leaves just don't have the aroma that the little ones do because I think they're just too big. So I picked all the small leaves off and uh, if I won't drop this and I put them on here. I've got a couple trays of that and the thyme um, I'm just going to lay on here. I've never done this before so I'm kind of, I don't know exactly what the best way to do this. Um, I'm leaving these little tiny leaves on the stems because I think they'll be much easier to remove once it's dried. I probably can just zip, you know, right down and um, dry those. So I have three layers of the thyme and two layers of the sage. I will then dry these and I'll rotate the trays, you know, every hour or so. This will probably take a little while. The marjoram is quite wet from the rain and I just and therefore it's got a lot of dirt and that stuck to it plus I don't think I want to dry and use these buds if anybody has any knowledge I mean I would assume they're fine but I wasn't going to dry those so that's going to take a little bit longer to uh, you know probably cut off those ends I'll probably dry it the same way as the thyme on the leaf or on the stems um, but this needs a little bit more cleaning and um, I think it just needs to be a little bit drier before I stick it on the dehydrator um, just to make that a little easier. Um, just want to show you some other things I've done. What kind of got me started on this was um, this winter I purchased one of those great big containers of baby spinach and um, don't you I never use it all. I mean yeah you put it in things but there's so much there um, so I started with that and I dehydrated the spinach and this was actually about half full when I started and now when I make a stir fry or a soup or whatever I'll just take a handful of this and throw it in and you add you know some good vitamins and things as well as taste so I did that with the spinach um, so now I can buy those great big packages of spinach and not throw and they're expensive you know that and to throw all that away after it gets moldy in your refrigerator which that's always fun too then I also dried some red onions I had bought a large package of red onions uh, last fall and so I cut them up and dried them and been using those and that works really well too the one thing I would suggest and what I will do different next time is I will cut them smaller I kind of cut them larger to make it easier for me but um, putting them in things in in stews and that uh, I just would like them a little bit smaller because they do tend to be a little bit chewy I don't want to say rubbery but chewy after you've dried these um, or any onion but you know I did that so that's kind of what got me started and that was why I planted these herbs and then I am hoping to bring that pot in the house and have some fresh herbs over the winter um, but we'll see how that goes and um, okay I'll give you an update when this stuff is drying and I'll show you what I do with it at the end okay I uh, brought the dehumidifier outside here because with the house closed up with the air conditioning it really was strong um, mostly the sage I could smell but it's all dry and now this is the marjoram um, there's the sage and down here is the thyme so I will take these now and I will pull these off the stems and you know I'll probably end up with three tablespoons of thyme I mean it really doesn't make a lot but I'm hoping that you know they taste better than the store-bought stuff and uh, there you go hope you give it a try and 
If I get a chance to let you know how they taste in food, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.